Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another octabulous love reading and everything in between. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. I hope this video finds you guys absolutely amazing. I hope you are setting your intentions and I hope you are living in your power and your inner strength so that you can manifest the life that you desire and we know that you deserve it. So keep in mind it is a general. Also don't forget that this is fall and I'm still offering my fall special readings where you can get two questions answered for $10 uh, or a 30 minute reading for $30. If you're interested, uh, email me. My email will be in the description box below. Also, don't forget to check out Outer Spirit and the discount code Brown Eyes Twenty if you're interested in authentic crystal jewelry. Okay, uh, give it a try. It is Scorpio season, and you deserve you deserve every beautiful thing. Even uh, was well, Libra season. I'm, I'm sorry, that's a Scorpio reading. <laughs> it's a collective reading. This is Libra season, and they do have a beautiful Libra pack. So check that out as well, and you can use my discount code. So we're pulling your overall energy from the sacred She Tarot. And your overall energy is liberation. Liberation. I believe this is judgment for you. And this is what it tells you. It says, we become accustomed to our patterns of living, accepting them as normal. But a time comes when we see that the old patterns and habits are keeping us caged. Once the light of this understanding twitches on, switches on, we experience a first glimpse of spaci spaciousness beyond the world we know. Then a profound longing arises within the heart, uplifts, and we are no longer afraid of stepping, our, stepping out into the unknown. So when the deep-rooted longer for change arises here, a mighty leap of faith is required, and there is no turning back. In nature, this awesome rite of passage plays out in the breathtaking transition from nest to full flight. And that's so true. It reminds me of uh, seeing this bird cage, this little bird's nest right right uh, in my, in my under my car garage. And it was right above my car garage here too. And it's so amazing here because I remember when the birds, you know, because with the birds, you, the, the mother and the daddy, they, they stay together. They, 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 they stay together, you know. It's like we can really learn from the animals. I'm just saying here because they, they go out there and they go get their babies, they food together. Or I believe the dad stays at the house and the mama go out there. But I know that they work in unison together. And I was watching those little birds chip, chip, chip. And then I noticed that they started flying. You know, they wouldn't go far. They had, they had a little set way. It was like a diagonal. They'd go that way, go that way and come back. They wasn't going past the, the yard, you know. And, um... But one day, though, it's about those birds, though. When they have fully learned to fly, they got to go. They got to leave the nest, y'all. Ain't no sitting around playing no video games and not getting no job and eating up everything. No, the parents say, oh, no, you can fly now. You got to fly on. And I remember going out there one day and seeing, because see, what happens is they start fighting each other, the siblings, because it's the, the bigger they get, the more, the bigger their appetite gets. And they start fighting over food then. So that's why Bert and mom and dad are like, y'all got to go. But I remember going outside seeing one of those birds that had fell down. And it was just chirping. It was just chirping. And I'm like, oh, you must have, you must have been the, the, leakest wing, uh, the weakest link. Because they done kicked you out the house and everything. And nobody came to save. <laughs> I guess they said, no, you better. I guess the mama said, you better fly, child. Fly. You remember what I told you? Fly because you can't come back here. You better figure it out. And they go on about their business. And they never did come back to that nest. Because they had towed it up. I'm talking about they towed that nest up. I feel like the parents left. I think the parents left because the kids got too big and the kid, the kid, I'm talking about the birds. The birds wouldn't leave, so I think the parents left. So now you know, you know how you know how siblings get when they you know they 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 start feeling they self and everybody want to be the boss and everything. So somebody ended up didn't making it. And I don't know what happened to it. I tried to help it out, but I just felt so bad because the birds wasn't helping it or nothing. It's almost like the sibling was like, which which was keep the same energy. What, what, what? And it was like, help, 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 but would nobody help it? So it says, <laughs> only when ready, with great heart and wings spread wide, does a fledgling soar into the vast empty sky. Liberation marks a period of sweeping change, 
that is both fundamental and absolute. The freedom addressed here involves a quickening that thrums with deep from deep within and cannot be ignored. Be gentle with yourself and others while undergoing this transformation. It is nothing less than a liberating expansion of consciousness. This is judgment. It says no matter how intense or unacceptable our feelings are, it is so important to welcome them, allow them to be present in the body and in the heart, and that welcome each feeling in a portal to a dimension of our essential nature to peace and to the true wisdom. So we all long for freedom, yet we often deny our human reality. We think we should be above it all. Here we allow ourselves to be in our feelings, welcome and accept them as a doorway to our human nature and essence here. So liberation, Spirit has said, don't run from it, okay? Spirit said, don't run from it. Deal with it all because it's all a part of your growth and your expansion here. A lot of times when things get hot and heavy, we want to bail out, don't we? Because we feel like we ain't got to deal with that. But guess what? You're going to run right into another situation. I'm telling you, that's what it is. So check it out. Liberation, judgment. It's judgment time. It's time for you to answer the call. Answer the call to your soul. You got the Ace of Wands here. A past and new beginning. Your past is about to be reignited here. Ooh, you're about to get your mojo back here. See, look. Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. See? What's going on for the collective in this liber in this judgment? Three of Pentacles, partnership, collaboration, sponsorships, spiritual partners, a good job. Somebody may be offered a, a brand new opportunity. Somebody may be collaborating, going in business with someone. See, there it is, the fool. You have to take a leap of faith, though. Spirit say you got all these abilities and you got all these. It's almost like you're not going to know if it's, if it's going to work if you don't get out there. See, they go to Page of Cups. And there go the tower, because Spirit said, if you don't move, you're going to be moved. Something is going to move out your way so that you can't be stuck. You know, sometimes we get comfortable because we be afraid of change, because we're used to what we in. And it may not even be that good, but we're used to it. You know, the saying is like, I'm used to your crazy, but I don't want to get, I don't want to start all over again getting to know somebody else's crazy, okay? But you're still going to have to take a leap of faith anyway. you got to come off the porch, collective. Yeah, uh-huh. It's time to come off the porch and do adult stuff. There go the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Earth. Sowing seeds, waiting. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Partnership, Four, four Swords, Rest and Rejuvenation here. Knight of Pentacles, something may have been slow, slow and steady wins. The Ray Spirit is telling you with the Knight of Pentacles, don't get caught up on the time. Stop rushing yourself. Do everything precisely within this each moment. What Spirit is telling you to sow your seeds? All you got to do is sow your seeds with the right energy and don't hound it. Relax and take a leap of faith. Get outside your comfort zone because you got something dynamic taking place for you. You could be a Scorpio. Uh, Aries, I hear, I see a lot of earth. <clears throat> I'm getting Leo energy with these sunflowers. Ace of Wands here, fire energy. Four Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You got timing here at number seven is waiting. Some of you guys are tired of waiting, but. You know, your challenges and your, your battles, they're, they're, they're for a reason. They're not personal. I know it feel like it, though. Sometimes you feel alone. You feel like no one understands. And look, they go to five of wands, conflict. Oh, look, they go to emperor. Mm. You may be having problems with your masculine, your child's dad. So let's see, why is the tower here for the collective Scorpios? Why is the tower here? Page of Swords. Ooh, the King of Cups. A realization, a shocking moment. Somebody may be discovering something about themselves. Because you remember the overall energy is judgment. See, they go to Eight of Wands. 
Somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to talk. I feel like this is reconciliation time for those who's interested because that's what I'm seeing. Four of Swords could be somebody you're separated from. And now somebody is judging it. Somebody's waking up, answering the call. See, because there go the Nine of Pentacles. Four of Swords, someone may have taken a break to focus on themselves right now. And in that time of isolation and soul searching, someone may be discovering that they have deeper feelings for you. They go the Knight of Swords. There's some type of communication. Somebody want to somebody wanna get to the bottom of this, see? I feel like somebody's coming in to offer you something, see? They go the Knight of Cups, and they go that Three of Pentacles again, see? So someone thinks you're beautiful and amazing and attractive. I feel like if this person did not want to, if this person needed to open up, need to make up their mind what they wanted, I feel like somebody is choosing you. Now, some of y'all may have a problem with somebody choosing you and someone else, but that's for somebody, that's somebody needs to spiritually grow. Because if you really love someone, then you have to be willing to go through the storms of the relationships. And sometimes you got to go through all of the hard part just before you can get to the good part. And But you have to know what you can handle. But I'm telling you, for somebody, you're going to have to be patient because I feel like something is happening for you. Why is the fool here? See, they go to Page of Cups. Somebody's coming back in to offer you something. Somebody is curious. See, and they go to fool again. See, you and your person, for some of y'all, you'd be surprised. Your person probably feel the same way you do. See, and they go to freaking Empress, boo. See, it could be a Libra. So I can see why somebody is head over heels over this person. Why wouldn't you fall for this person? So, so you're going to have somebody doing something. See, you got somebody wanting to do things for you that they ordinarily don't do. Look, they go to half and somebody can see themselves in a relationship with you. Why is the page of cups? You got the page of cups here twice. Huh? See? Six of ghosts. Nostalgia, childhood memories, past memories. Somebody's still holding on. And I feel like somebody's been indecisive, should they or shouldn't they? Somebody's been battling from within, should they try to come back or what? They go the seven of wands here. I feel like somebody is ready to fight for this connection, stand their ground with you. Somebody wants to plead their case. Like I feel like once again when I see that knight, so ooh, and they go the king of pentacles. Oof. So we must be dealing with an emperor. I feel like this is somebody here who has been single for a while, okay? Because they do their own thing. But with this Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, somebody has come to a realization that maybe they're in love with you. I feel like this person has tried to see because they're going to judge me in the reverse. Somebody didn't want to deal with this. Somebody may have been all about their money. Or somebody just liked the, the, uh, being single with a lot of money. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles, see? Planting seeds, taking stock. This could be somebody here who looking at the situation like all of the time that they have invested in this relationship. Somebody may be coming to the conclusion that it's time to, you know, commit here. It's time to come together. You know, I, I, I done been dating a collective. You know, I know collective. You know, I feel safe with collective, especially with this empress. See, and that go to freaking magic. See, it's a soulmate. See how deep that is? See? Two of Cups, why is the Knight of Pentacles? Now this same person here is having a major epiphany. And now this same person is going to come in here and offer you something stable and solid if you still want to see. Because they go the Knight of Swords. Somebody need to get their mind right. Because somebody probably was playing those games. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like the, the veil is, the portal is open. See, look, see. Ace of Cups. And it's not going to take a long... It's almost like when people try to come in your life and manipulate you, look. There it is. See, told you. Queen of Pumpkins, see? It's kind of like this. See, somebody regrets losing you to five of ghosts, see? I feel like you were dealing with somebody here who didn't want to commit it in the past. But what's happening is, is... 
there's a there's a shift in here. There's a major spiritual shift taking place with these towers and the judgment card. You remember your overall energy is liberation. It is judgment. And this is what people are doing. They are waking up. They're waking up to love. They're waking up to understanding spiritually. And someone is finally looking at things from a spiritual perspective. And now somebody look at you like y'all could actually get married. All right. Three of Pentacles. Because you got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, God dang. Two of Cups. See, there they is. Seven of Pentacles. Because somebody feels like, once again, that somebody could also be thinking that if they wasn't wasting your time and playing games, y'all could have been further along. But somebody's looking at you with that Empress card and this Queen of Pentacles as if you guys can grow. They go the uh, Temperance card. Somebody may be feeling like they're, they're better with someone than away from someone. Because like I feel like this person is going through it. Five of Pentacles because somebody wants to start over. They go that Ace of Wands. So you got the Ace of Wands showing up again. See, and look, they go to look, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. And that's what you got, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. See, that's your last card. Why is the Ace of Wands here? See? This is such a magical time. You have to expect the unexpected. Things that you thought you know, you're going to be surprised by how things turn out is what Spirit is saying. Ace of Wands, King of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody here who is very, very passionate about you. Ooh, but you may be giving this person a cold shoulder with the Queen of Swords. You may have turned your back on this person here because you feel like they're too egotistical and they think that they got some Ace of Wands type of energy. Somebody could have been very, very uh, self-absorbed here. But once again, there it is. Judgment. There it is. I told you. Followed by the Four of Wands here. See this person coming back in to heal it. The star. You're this person's wish fulfilled. Ace of Pentacles for the collective in judgment. It's judgment time, y'all. That's that you just gotta know it. And judgment represents people looking at things for what it really is, finally uh getting out of the delay, getting out of the illusions, and finally taking action, taking back the, your power of your life, because you got the magician card here. Ace of Wands, see, and there go that freaking Queen of Wands, see. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. The Empress, so this person is into you in every level. The King and the Queen of Pentacles. See, and they go a King of Swords. See, because you're showing, see, you're this person's match here. This is why this person can't just shake you off. And there this person is again. Five of Cups. I feel like somebody regrets that they wasn't taking this relationship serious in the Knight of Wands because somebody was all in their ego. Somebody, somebody was expecting to constantly receive without giving. But what somebody is finally realizing is that they're in love with you. And I feel like they want to marry you. Now, this ain't for somebody you just meeting. This is for somebody who, who you probably been going through crap with, all right? Nobody is matched for love and karma. It's almost like people are finally waking up to that they really got something real here. You know, go after it. Go go get your happy. And somebody finna come show you how much they love you, collective. And that's your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe.